Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Asymmetics and today we have a really interesting question, we need to raise the square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 to the 9th power. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is a very easy challenge, we need to multiply this expression by each other 9 times because we have 9th power. I say okay, but it's really hard, it's really hard to do like that. Right now I'm going to show you a really great trick, how can you find this, how can you find this value, how can you raise this expression to the 9th, to the 9th power. First of all, let's call this expression right here here as x. Okay, so as a result, what do we have right here? We have square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2. This is our, this is our x. And right now, let's use cross multiplying. So let's use cross multiplying. What do we have as a result? As a result, we have right here, we have 2x. Okay, so 2x equal to square root of 5 minus 1. Square root of 5 minus 1. Right now, let's bring this uh, minus 1 from our right side to left side. Let's do this. So as a result, we have 2x plus 1 equal to square root of 5. I bring this from our right side to left side because right, because right now I'm going to raise both sides to the second power. We have right here a square root of 5, and when we raise this square root of 5 to the second power, we can easily cancel this square root sign, which helps us a lot. Let's do this. So as a result, we have 2x plus 1 to the second power. We squared it equal to square root of 5 to the to the second power. Really great. Right now we can easily raise this because this is like a school identity. As a result, what do we have right here? We have 4x square, okay, 4x square. We have right here plus 4x and plus 1 equal to, equal to, equal to 5, okay, equal to 5. Really great. Right now, let's bring this one from our, from all, oh, let's bring this 5 from our right side to left side. It will be like better for us. So as a result, we have 4x square plus 4x, plus 1, and minus 5, equal to, equal to 0, really great. 1 minus 5 equal to minus 4, yeah, so as a result we have right here 4x square, plus 4x, and minus 4, equal to, equal to 0, really great. And right now let's divide both sides by, by 4, we have right here all the time 4, so we can easily cancel this left side and right side by, by 4, so we divide both sides by, by 4. Let's do this. As a result, we have x square plus x and minus 1 equal to 0. And from here, this is a very tricky moment because we don't need to solve this equation. We don't need it. Right now, I'm going to show you a really great trick. From here, we will, we're going to express x square. So from here, x square equal to 1 minus x. We're going to bring this from our left side to right side. So x square equal to my 1 minus x. And we're really happy about this expression because this expression will help us to reduce to reduce a power. We know that x square equal to 1 minus x. So if we express a second power according to the first power, yeah, it helps us a lot. Just look at it right now. First of all, this expression will help us to reduce to reduce a power. And secondly, right now we're going to get in closer and closer to the ninth power. In the beginning, we need to find ninth power. So obviously we need to find x to the ninth power because this expression equal to x. So we need to find x to the ninth power. Yeah, this expression equal to x. So we need to find x to the ninth to the ninth power. Right now we know that x square equal to one minus x. So right now let's get in closer and closer to this ninth power. Okay, I hope you understand this uh, this step right here. Right now let's multiply or let's let like, like raise both sides to the second power. Then we will have fourth power. It's closer to the ninth power. So let's start with this with this step. Okay, so let's separate this this solution. Right now we're gonna raise both sides to the to the second power. We know that x square equal to 1 minus x. Right now let's raise both sides to the second power. We have x square to the second power equal to equal to 1 minus x to the second power. Really great. Right now what do we have as a result? We have x to the fourth power on the left side equal to, right here we can easily raise this, we have 1 minus 2x here yeah? and plus x square but x square equal to equal to 1 minus x. So right now, instead of this x square, we can easily write this expression, which helps us to reduce a power, as I told before, yeah? So as a result, we have 1 minus 2x and plus 1 minus x, okay? Plus 1 minus x. So as a result, our x to the fourth power is equal to, let's look at it, what do we have right here? We have 1 plus 1 equal to 2, 2 minus, minus 2x minus x, we have minus, minus 3x. 
So right now we know the value of x to the fourth power. This is really great. So as you can see right here, I'm getting closer and closer to this x to the ninth power. As I told before, we need to find x to the ninth to the ninth power. Let's do this. How can we find this x to the ninth power? Because this is odd number where here we have even power. So right now let's find x to the eighth power. We can easily do this. We can easily raise both sides to the second power. As a result, we have x to the fourth power raises to the second power equal to 2 minus 3x. We need to raise both sides to the second power. As a result, x to the fourth power squared, we have x to the eighth power equal to and right here we can easily raise this. As a result, we have 4 minus 2 times 2 times 3, we have minus 12x and plus 9x squared. But in the same way, x squared equal to 1 minus x. So just go back to this expression right here, x squared equal to 1 minus x. As I told before, we find this expression to reduce a power. Right now, let's do this. Let's plug in this 1 minus x instead of this x squared. So as a result, we have x to the 8th power equal to 4 minus 12x and plus 9 times 1 minus x, 1 minus x. Let's open parentheses. Let's do this. So as a result, we have x to the 8th power equal to 4 minus 12x plus 9 and minus 9x. As a result, x to the 8th power is equal to 4 plus 9. We have 13 minus, we have 12 minus 9, minus 12 minus 9, equal to minus 21x. So we have minus 21x, really great. So we know x to the 8th power. Before we found x to the 4th power, in the beginning we know about x squared, right now we know x to the 4th, right now we know x to the 8th power, but we need to find x to the 9th power. How can we do this? Of course, we need to multiply both sides by 1x. When we multiply it, we have right here x to the 9th power, so let's do this right now. So we have right here x to the 8th power, we're gonna multiply it by x, and we need to do the same thing with this expression on the right side. So we have right here 13 minus 21x, we're going to multiply this expression by x. As a result, x to the 9th power, x to the 9th power equal to 13x minus 21x square, minus 21x square. But as I told before, our expression that really helps us, x square equal to 1 minus x. So let's plug in this expression instead of this, instead of this x square. So as a result, we have 13x minus 21 and 1 minus x inside 1 minus x inside parentheses. As a result, what do we have right here? 13x minus 21, yeah, minus 21, and plus 21x. As a result, 13x, 21x, it looks like 34x, okay? So as a result, we have 34x minus 21. This is our x to the ninth power, but x equal to, in the beginning, we found that x equal to this expression, expression that we need to raise to the ninth power. So square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2. Let's rewrite this expression right here for better understanding. But x equal to square root of 5 minus 1 and all over 2. So right now, this is x to the ninth power. We're going to plug in this x right here. So this is expression that we need to find. So as a result, square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2. We're going to plug in this expression right here to the ninth power equal to this expression and the same way x we can plug in right here. So equal to 34 times this expression times x, x equal to this expression. So we have square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 and minus 21 minus 21. Really great. Right now, 34, we can easily divide by 2. As a result, right here, we will have 17. Right here, we will have 1. So as a result, we have 17 times parentheses square root of 5 minus 1. Yeah, and minus 21. Let's open our parentheses. So as a result, we have 17 square root of 5 minus 17 and minus minus 21, which is equal to 17 square root of 5. Yeah, and right here we can easily subtract minus 17 minus 21 equal to minus minus 38 minus 38. And this is looks like our answer, yeah? Because in the beginning we have our question, our expression square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 to the ninth power. So our answer is 17 square root of 5 minus minus 38. 
This is my approach to this challenge. I want to see your approach down into the comment section. It would be really interesting to exchange information. Maybe you have your really great approach according to like a different theorem, according to different different tricky methods, according to different like uh, um, approximately method. It would be really interesting to read about it. This is my approach. I hope you understand it. I try to explain this uh, question for um, for most uh, like uh, students to understand this question. I don't like to find a complicated uh, tricks right here. I guess this is really like a school trick this is like a really great school trick because this is our um, algebra skills right here we are working with algebra skill this is not like a really complicated theorem we are talking about algebra so we are talking about a lot of algebra algebra tricks right here yeah we're gonna multiply we're gonna raise to the second power we're gonna multiply it by x to the first power yeah so as you can see really interesting tricky moments right here so i hope you will enjoy it also i want to see your approach down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it and thank you for your time thank you for your support see you in the next videos have a great day love math and everything will be okay see you in the next videos